Yo, 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 what is going on, fun? Thank you all so much for tuning in once again. My name is Dutch Lion. In this video, we are starting with a brand new project. First of all, I would like to say a sorry. In the recording session, there may be here or there like uh, some audio bits that are normally not there because there is a storm on the way in the moment that we are recording this voiceover. So there may be like a moment here and there where you will hear like a crack or something. So first of all, I want to apologize for that. Uh, but nonetheless, we are starting on the new project in the challenge slash sandbox zoo. At this very moment, we are going to be starting with the entrance project. And that's like a whole, it's a pretty big project overall. And it will contain one, maybe two enclosures. Kind of depends on how much space we have later on. Uh, but at least it will be one. And that one will be for the fellow deers. So we wanted to actually keep the fellow deers for a like completely new and separate area uh, which is going to be for uh yeah, like the european slash north american uh, dlc area which will be right beside the aquatic uh, section and also right next to the uh, japanese village uh, which we finished in the previous video so we'll still leave a link in the description down below with a cinematic video if you haven't checked that one out yet so you're able to check out all the builds that we did over there like all the planning all the construction all the things so feel free to check that one out if you haven't already uh, but we wanted to keep the fellow there as one of the animals for that area but we had like a little decision going on on what was like wise and smart to do and other animals for this area weren't really working out and a couple reasons for that one of them for example is um like the the group size the animal itself and what type of region they live in and it's like smaller bits here and there that kind of yeah it just didn't work really out anymore so the fellow there was pretty much the only animal that we could choose for this and it's like the group size they can live in a group size of 16 i believe so that's like a yeah more than enough so a lot of chances and opportunities for the guests to check out the fellow deers themselves uh, but also like the region so we're gonna go for a yeah like north american uh, look as in like a, a european uh, north american look as a forest so it will be similar to what we've done in the aquatic section but also a little bit as what we've done in the japanese village so it will be like a mix of the two because like the trees and foliage in the japanese village are kind of uh, like used for the trees and foliage that we use for the aquatic section so that was already kind of similar so it will be like a mix of the two in here so right now the fellow deer enclosure will be made it's partially inside this glass house and partially on the outside so they have like an indoor area and an outdoor area and as you can see right now it's an actual pretty big space that we can still fill in but whenever this building and a second glass house have been like constructed and fully finished there is a little bit of space left it kind of depends on what animal we're going to be using for that area if it's an animal that will like contain or is happy with a small enclosure it might work but if we will look at a animal that requires a bigger enclosure it's going to be very difficult so for now it will be one enclosure uh, for the fellow there and the new entrance that we'll be constructing in uh, the near future so they'll be done as well so the part inside the glass house which is going to be accessible for the guests but also for the fellow there uh, right next to it we'll be constructing our second restaurant like of course the restaurants were released with the european dlc so we'll definitely add one of those in here so it'll give like another opportunity or at least a reason for guests to go inside the glass house like later on you'll see like how we're going to be laying out all the uh, like path systems and the buildings themselves so it will be a bit more uh, like understandable in a way whenever we do start with that because in this world we'll be constructing the foundation of it so as you can see we're going partially with a modern glass items but also with the european uh, dlc wall which is like the rocks and i really like these because you can change the color of them in like four ways so like four options in terms of like changing which is super cool and it gives like so much more like creativity uh, in the looks of the uh, the walls and we will like use them later on as well but like for now we're gonna go for a uh, yeah like modern glass house look we used pinterest a lot for this build and 
yeah, like Pinterest is kind of important nowadays, at least in um, like inspiration for specific buildings or new projects. And this really helped a ton of actually getting to a point where this glass house is finished because all the builds you see in youtube videos have been created live over on twitch first so feel free to check those streams out if you haven't already it'd be great to see you there because all the builds that we have built so far in this new area is uh, the uh, glass house that we are currently working on in this video uh, but also a second glass house which will house all the staff buildings that used to be in that kind of region and we also started on the entrance itself so all the sections here like all the buildings have pretty much been like taken or at least uh, grabbed like inspiration from uh, on pinterest like there's so many nice little photos here and there and screenshots with spe specific buildings and like variations as well of a specific type of building which uh yeah like again really helped out with the actual construction of this one so uh yeah like it's very cool side and it's it's pretty cool but uh, yeah, for now, I will leave you all with the uh, remaining of the speed build. Hopefully you will enjoy as always. Once again, I will leave the links in the description down below, which will redirect you to the Twitch channel, but also to previous videos in the Japanese village. And yeah, like that's pretty much it. The Japanese village will be focused on in the description. So hopefully I will see you all in a future live stream over on Twitch. Otherwise, in a future video over here on YouTube. But for now, stay safe. Enjoy the video. I will see you all later. Have a good one. Bye bye.